You were attracted to Joseph, weren't you, Mrs. Strubing? Objection! That's an absurd accusation! You invited him into your bed, didn't you? Your Honor! He attacked me! Strike the question and answer from the record. Mr. Friedman, no more of this. You understand me? Yes, Your Honor. Yes, of course. I'm sorry. Now, your bedroom is just below the room where the maid slept? Yes. Did you scream for help? I couldn't. He had a knife. Did he hold the knife as he removed his clothing? He must have. So he removed his pants, belt, zipper, whatever, with one hand? Apparently so. You told Mr. Willis that you fought him, but he overpowered you. Is that right? Yes. There was a phone right next to your bed. Did you attempt to use it? No, I was terrified. Afraid to use the phone or scream for help, but not afraid to fight back? You have no idea what it feels like to be so afraid. But at no point, at no point during the hours and hours that the two of you were together, did you ever attempt to make any calls to escape, to raise your voice for help? Object. This is I argument. was scared for my life. Sustained. The jury will disregard the question. You knew you had been unfaithful to your husband. You were terrified of what he would do to you if you your found Honor, out and you wanted to get he away. He is badgering that the is witness. That is not true. I was forced to leave the house. He bound me, he gagged me, and he dragged me to the car. The police stopped the car. Yes. But still you did not scream. He had a knife. Right, right, the knife. As you testified, you were afraid that he was going to slash your throat from the front seat of the car, was it? I couldn't make a sound. Because of the gag? Yes. Mrs. Strubing, this exhibit I is identical to the gag that he used? Yes. Let's just show the jury what he did then. Mrs. Strubing, please, please instruct Mr. Marshall, if you would. The gag was between your lips, is that correct, Mrs. Strubing? Yes, that's correct. Is this about right? No, it was a bit tighter than that. How about this, ma'am? Yes, that's about it. Now, you could have done that, Mrs. Strubing. He would have killed me. Who would have killed you? Your husband? Objection! Quiet, Mr. Marshall. Dare you speak to there me? There was a policeman way. standing not three feet away from you, and still you did not call out for help. Instead, Joseph drove on I'm to the I'm warning you, no you speaking. You bolted from the car because you were ashamed of what you had done with another man, with a colored man. Objection! One more word out of you, and I will hold you in contempt. You were afraid of what your husband would do to you if he found out, afraid that you were pregnant with a colored child. Objection! This is argument! Sustained. Jury will disregard. You jumped into that water. You wanted to end Jumped. it all. I was thrown. I was thrown. My hands were tied. He tried to kill me. Your hands were not tied, Mrs. Strubing. You were able to remove your coat and let it float in the water as you swam That's to shore. That's true. That's a lie. He, he gagged me. He tied me. Raped me. I am so, so sorry for your unhappiness, Mrs. Strubing. No more questions. Mr. Willis. I have no questions.